Home vlogs. Only on my arm, Gucci, Gucci on my belt. Bendy on my face. Please stay out my face. Yeah, I'm fresh to death. I can So if you don't know who Mo Vlogs is, I'm gonna give you a quick background. So Mo Vlogs belongs to a category of YouTubers that I like to call first world problems YouTubers. I don't know if my grammar is correct, I don't really care. So these FWPs, these FWPs, basically vlog about how much money they make, what car they're driving, you know, what they're wearing. Opening a $50,000 birthday gifts. Buying my brother a house? My sister's dream car birthday surprise. Hide and seek in $30,000 Emmett's business class lounge? everyone welcome i want you to pay attention to this part that i'm about to show you hey yo what is up everyone welcome <laughs> look at this poor girl <laughs> let's make things clear here you're not a vlogger if you're not getting tired from doing your own intros that's just a fact today is another beautiful day i'm here with my sister lana gang, gang, we out here um, and we pop it damn bro damn bro hey gang we out here you know we pop in Yo, 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 yo! So in case you don't know, my sister actually dropped her new music video. I'm gonna be telling you that every single day. And if you haven't already watched it, this is what it looks like. Today we have a very- Wait, what? What did it look like? What did, it, what did your sister's music video look like? You didn't even bother to show us what, what it looks like. I'm gonna be talking about my sister's music video like all the time. So if you haven't seen it already, here it is. Now nah, I'm just playing. Uh, this is what it looks like. You make me feel so real. Know you're playing games with me. But you make it feel so real. I know my mom and sister's birthday was a week ago. About a week ago. Hey. 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 In case you guys don't already know, we have a new car in the garage, and that is a Rolls Royce Phantom. Woo! This car is actually bigger than the other Rolls Royces. It's the biggest Rolls Royce. Yeah, it is, yeah, the biggest one. And it's got some insane interior. So I'm about to check that out with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That made a lot of sense, bro. <laughs> Go show him, bro. Go show him. Woo! This is what it looks like. This could be a bed, like... Yeah, pretty much you have curtains in this car. I mean... There's a button for that. Tea tree! <laughs> You gotta love the Rolls Royce Phantom. Right? Like... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you gotta love, you know, these curtains. This floral pattern. <laughs> so that's the car, guys. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Let's turn aside. Alright, let's go. Hey! Thanks a bunch for that giant ad, Mo Vlogs. Appreciate ya. Cool plate number, by the way. I've never seen a plate number without the actual number. Yo, 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 yo! yo. Like, I totally believe you, dude. Like, totally, totally. Believe me. Woo! Dude, like, totally. In case you guys don't already know, we have a new car in the garage. This car is actually bigger than the other Rolls Royces. It's the biggest Rolls Royce. I'm gonna narrate the parts from here on out so we can both save some time. This video could have been way lesser than 10 minutes. It's not even funny or entertaining, it's just a giant excuse to flex. Well, like most of his videos anyway. So it's Lana's birthday, most sister, and they bought a cake in the shape of a car. But oh no! Turns out they made the cake in the shape of Mo's car, not Lana's. So as you can see, it's actually my Ferrari as a cake. But isn't it my birthday? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. 
but isn't it my birthday? So the birthday cake finally arrives, but the birthday girl is nowhere to be found. Turns out she was locked in her room because she was scared. Are you kidding me? You lock the door when you're home alone? Can you come downstairs? Why? Why do you lock the door? Because I'm scared. Because I'm scared. She was scared of her birthday cake. That's a pretty valid reason. I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, look at that thing. Fucking beautiful and detailed as fuck and probably pretty tasty and something I can't afford. I mean, fuck. I'm shook. So yada yada yada, oh my god, it looks like a real thing. Yo, they legit went in and put like holes. Yada yada yada, we didn't actually buy this cake. It was made by our friends and my birthday isn't today. It was last week, but they sent us another cake so we could promote it on our vlog. And finally, we get to the point. So here's the thing, 6 9 the rapper is actually in Dubai right now and I'm gonna be trying my best to meet him. So by the time this video comes out... Not if I meet him first. Oh, hey. whoa, whoa, hey. whoa. You guys, basically, I'm gonna try my best to meet him while he's here. If not, I'm sure somebody in our group is gonna meet him. Either Rashid's gonna meet him or Saigon. Like, we will do our best to track this man down. Yeah, we're tracking you down. 6 9 Troy, <laughs> Don't say it, just don't say it. You're ruining the word. It sounds, it already sounded cool, and you're just ruining it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so, ah. Uh. Oh my god. Um, I apologize if I played this clip in full. I just want you to feel what I'm feeling right now. Try away. A few moments later. Yo! 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 Okay, so you're probably wondering what I'm panicking about right now. But who, pan <laughs> who panics like that? And then vlogs right after. Yeah, bruv. What'd you say, bruv? Six not is in Dubai? <sighs> Are you sure, bruv? <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm panicking right now. <sighs> Alright, I call you back, okay? I call you back. Yo! 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 <laughs> but right now, my friends just called me and 6 9 is actually in the studio recording a new song. So I'm gonna go there right now and we're gonna go meet 6 9 I wrapped my Ferrari based off of him. So we're gonna go meet him right now. That's insane. Guys, I, I'm... What? Alright guys, so look who we have. You already know. Straightway! Respect. He actually got 6 9 and it's actually not clickbait. Oh, he didn't get it. His friends got 6 9 and then his friends invited him so he can vlog his experience. But you know, at least give credit. Give credit. I can I can do that. We can do that, of course. Yo! 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 The king you know of that New shit. York. King of New York, man. You know that shit. I had to come Guys. check in the Dubai. You know that. He's shutting it down. You already know. Anyways, cheers, bro. Appreciate it. Man. You already know. Now you know he's here with Saigi too. Hey, damn. So, what can I learn from you in rap? I mean, the one thing I have to know when I make hip hop. Tell a nigga son. Oh, whoa, whoa. So, 6ix9ine has this habit of, you know, saying, oh, tell a to suck my dick. That's his thing. That's his, like, cash phrase or whatever. Hey, you. Somebody. So according to Mo Vlogs, it's okay to say the N-word, but no gay shit though. Like it's totally okay to say the N-word, but it's like not okay to say something that human male requires to function. Tell a nigga suck dick. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Hi guys, I need to ask one question from the King of Rap. I'm making music. Uh -huh. How like, how do I get better? They hate me for it, bro. Wait, Mo Vlogs is making music and people hate you for it? Why? I mean, why would people hate you for it? That's unfair. Why would they hate you for your music? You know what? Let's just watch some music. Let's watch this music. So you think you know me? Think you know me? You think you know everything about me? Think you know everything? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? You don't know me. You saying about me? You ain't my homie. All these stories be tripping me like oh yeah. Snakes, 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 snakes.
with the rest. You don't be following. I don't see it. Like, I don't see white people waiting you for your music. I mean, I don't see it. You know what? Let's watch something newer. Because it's not fair to, you know, to base your opinion off of something that's old. Like, a year old. It's uploaded on May 7, 2017. Like, it's not fair. Let's watch something new. Break it down. Break it down. Show you brown, 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 brown. I go, 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 I go. I still don't see why people would hate you for music like this. I don't see it. I mean, are they just being mean? Like for no absolute reason? Probably. Bro, what you gotta do is literally not listen to what nobody ever tell you. People always tell me, yo, don't beep with this person, don't go at that person. But look at me, bro. I'm the most successful kid in rap today. But nobody, 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 nobody got more successful yeah. than me today. Damn. And it's Trey Way! <laughs> Alright, done, done. Let's go, let's go. He means it. <laughs> Uh, Treyway! Alright, boys. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that, Mo? You heard how he said it. You heard how 6ix9ine says it. Put your back into it. Put some. Put some. Mm. Here, I'll, I'll show you how to say it. Okay, is your diaphragm. So you in inhale. Inhale the air. Okay, until your diaphragm expands. The air reaches into your lungs and the diaphragm expands. Okay. Okay, you see that? You see that? My chest is expanding. You see that? Okay. So once you inhale and the air enters your lungs and into the diaphragm right here okay and then and only then do you say yeah the t word okay one two three wow you saying about me so i actually shot this video a week ago and apparently mo made a couple more six nine videos of course he did we're not going to be going through all of them. We're mainly going to focus on this other video. I'm not going to be reacting to this anymore though, just because it's a waste of time. So to save you the trouble of clicking on it, this comment right here basically summarized everything that ever happened on the video. He is going to have my car in the video. Don't crash my car. Did 6 9 just take over with my own car? Is 6 9 going to see my 6 9 Ferrari? Stefan, that's my car. Bro, that's my car. 6 9 crashed my Ferrari. Oh. My Ferrari is literally like the main thing in this whole shoot. Oh, 6 9 just posted a picture of my Ferrari on oh. My boy 6 9 posted two videos of my Ferrari. Oh, oh and here's a little bonus just so you can sleep better at night. Trayway! Trayway! Don't, don't Trayway this one. No, no Trayway. Bro, why are you not wearing your seatbelt? Trayway! Trayway! <laughs> Trayway! Trayway! <laughs> Trayway! Trayway! Hey! Trayway! Treyway! Treyway! Found some rather interesting comments. Remember when Mofo said he was taking a tube break because it was the biggest product of his life? This is it. His car, parentheses, borrowed car, was wrapped for this specific reason for use in 69's music video. The contract for the rap is being Deals on Wheels 69's production company. Deals on Wheels still owns the Ferrari, not Mo. Mo owns none of his cars. Deals owns all of them and he promotes them and in turn gets to lease the vehicles that Deals chooses. When it's time to turn in his current rides because they got sold, Mo pretends he's choosing to buy a new car, but that's not reality. Don't think for a second that he keeps buying and selling all those cars every few months. He's simply borrowing what is available at the time. I mean seriously, he's gonna buy a Rolls Royce, then a few months later, sell back, then basically buy the same car, just solely a different model? What? You will lose a ton of money doing that. Like where would you find the time to make up stuff like this? This comment is starting to look like it's not that far away from the truth. I mean, just saying. But I don't really care. I mean, I'm not out here to expose the guy or anything. I'm just here for the cringe. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel just because I said so. And I'll see you on the next one. Treyway! Treyway!